Bleaching your hair at home is really hard, and I'm tired of pretending that it's not. Hey, listen, so if you follow me on TikTok, you already know this was coming, but I am here and I'm about to bleach my hair. So look at her. She's so full of life and so excited about the process, not knowing what's coming. (laughs) Not gonna lie, you guys, uh, probably the worst bleach job I've ever done. But you know what? Let's see. Let's see what happens. So here we go. I'm starting off with the L'Oreal Quick Blue Extra Strength Bleach. I know her. I love her. We've used her before. Okay. So uh, next thing I'm using is the L'Oreal developer that matches with it, a large bowl. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go from there. So you see, I have all of these. I'm not even going to call them roots. Those That's just my hair, girl. And um, yeah, there was a lot of her to bleach. So what I did was I added grease to the ends of my hair and I went along the normal process of how I would have ideally done this like to bleach your hair you want to go into the shaft first and then go up to the roots after you're done and then if you have any color on the ends or if you need to blend out anything then I would want to go in on the ends and add it in there because you know the ends are the oldest part of your hair you want to be really careful but yeah what ended up happening was my hair bleached fine my roots bleached fine So where my blonde pieces and the black parts of my hair mix is where I guess I didn't put enough bleach. I was so afraid of it overlapping that I ended up not putting enough there for the bleach to actually bleach the black parts. So I ended up bleaching my roots and the shaft of my hair, but then that one spot like in between where the blonde and the black parts are ended up being a lot darker than it was supposed to be. But Overall, I would have rather this happen than to overprocess my hair. This is an easy fix, I think. So I think the heat on the back of my neck also caused the back of my head to process a little bit faster than I wanted, which really sucks, but I noticed that it was happening, so I ended up washing it out way earlier than I would have liked to, but that was just to save the integrity of my hair. And here I am at the front of my head. As you see, I was just trying to do the shaft and then go into the roots later on. This process took so long. It was so hot in my bathroom. I didn't, I had the air on like 65 degrees and it was still super freaking hot. I know this looks really chaotic, but it ends up looking really nice at the end. So we're just gonna keep going here and fast forward. If you wanna see an actual good example of me bleaching my hair, I'll leave a link somewhere here. But this is not the greatest example, but I figured I'd show you guys anyway because Even if you've bleached your hair before, like you gotta be really careful every single time you do it. Because if you're not, then something can go wrong very easily. This is around the time I started to panic because I was like, oh my God, it's so hot. I don't think I'm even really getting my roots here. I was about to pass out from these fumes. Like it was, it was real bad. Make sure you're subscribed. I noticed that they demonetize me, which really sucks. Um, So if you guys could, go back and watch some of my old videos or just, you know, leave a like here and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and how you guys have been. It's been so long. Hi, hello. I also do nails now. I don't know if you've seen my last video, but I've been really getting into nails. So if you want to see that journey, you can follow me here or on TikTok. If you want to see more of my like day to day life, definitely follow me on TikTok because I post there like every five seconds, I swear. And here's a preview of what the end result looks like. All right, thanks guys, bye.